up guys welcome back to the fig heel youtube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite sting action figures and i will be honest this was easily the hardest top five list that i've ever had to come up with because sting uh, it's it's hard to say that he has a bad figure especially because it's a face painted um character man he has had some bangers and this was tough i literally spent about an hour maybe even an hour and a half coming up with my top five and i'm going to show them to you but first we're going to talk about it's brought to you by my new book the ultimate wrestling figure checklist available now on amazon.com including prime shipping with the forward by matt cardona and photography by the aew jazzwares photographer matthew goldberg as you can see it's very very thick 536 pages definitely pick one up now i suggest it it is a great investment now as i was saying sting has had some incredible figures a lot pretty much every mattel has been excellent you know and he's had all kinds of things we're talking about we got mystery minis there's funko pops i even have this weird uh kite figure i mean there's there's a ton right but my number five is probably his most recent figure. It's AEW Jazzwares. Now, saying it's number five does not mean that it's it's a bad figure by any means. It's excellent. In my mind, this is probably the best Steve Borden uh, head scan. I think it looks just like him and the paint application is incredible. Very, very nice looking figure. But my number five is the one of 5,000 chase edition of this. Personally, I feel like the Chase Edition, the, the Sting shirt with the Scorpion, is much more um, classic Sting than uh, this one. With the baseball bats, the icon, the AEW logo. I wish that this was the standard and this was the Chase, but such is life, right? Now, on the back, it says it's from Double or Nothing. 530 2021 in Jacksonville. And I mean, there's him wearing the shirt, but that's not the shirt on the figure, so I don't really know what's going on here. But I love this figure. I love the jacket, love the bat, love the head scan. It's the main reason he's number five for me. The AEW Jazz wears unmatched Series 2 Luminaries Chase 1 of 5000 Stinger. I mean, look at the detailing. And the molding on that jacket, a lot of beautiful work. One of the best Jazzwares AEW figures, in my opinion. So, I mean, man, he's had so many. This is so difficult to make this decision. But um, as a retro guy, I got to say, the retro is my number four. And it was hard for me to pick between the standard white and the red and black but well, we gotta go standard white have it mint on card and loose uh but this um figure is great because i love the action i love that he does like the stinger splash the head scan is great the paint application is great i love the classic stinger um scorpion on him it's just a great looking figure and really blends in with other Hasbro's and Mattel retro. So that's why this is number four. It was hard for me to pick. Like I said, I really wanted to include this figure on the list. The um, flashback basic, not many short dark haired sting figures exist in the wrestling action figure world. And this is one of them. The other that I can think of off the top of my head is the bash at the beach um three pack but i mean look at this thing beautiful and then next to it we have crow sting but it's like a modern one but man i love this dark haired short figure it's tough though but i realized that mattel obviously has to be on here he had some great tna figures mattel's got to be on here right and they are number three for me is the defining moments the first thing are defining moments crow sting um this was a huge deal when this came out this is the first ever 
WWE Sting figure. And he comes with a cloth goods cloak. He's got the choker on. Excellent head scan. It's like that. It's not the super short hair. It's not the long hair. It's like right in between. I don't like that they have this modern picture graphic of Sting, but it is what it is. I think they nailed this look for him. It says... There was a time when the NWO would force the entire WCW to submit to its will, and they might have succeeded if not for Sting. Resisting all attempts to recruit him, Sting adopted a new ghostly look and began hanging out in the rafters high above the action. Occasionally, he would rappel down into the ring during events, each time making it clear that the only match he wanted was against the leader of the NWO, Hulk Hogan. Sting finally got his wish at Starcade 1997, where he won by submission after catching Hogan in a scorpion deathlock. Um, a man of few words, Sting summed it up, but summed it up best when he said, the only thing that's for sure about Sting is that nothing is for sure. I mean, what a great figure. Gotta love that. Everything about it. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 50 years of wrestling figure collecting. Featuring over 2,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands in wrestling history. Keep track of what you have, want, and need as well as mint on card and loose value. With a forward by professional wrestler Matt Cardona and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist is a must-have for collectors. Premium full-color and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. Come on. He also had this defining moments, but that's not on my list personally. Nothing against it. Again, great figure. Um, I think we have... There's the red and black retro. We've got tons of Toy Biz figures, and there's some good ones, but I don't think that they, they made it onto my, well, I didn't think they deserved to make it onto my uh, my list. I mean, he had so much, guys. Look at all these stingers. That's a classic one right there, the OSFTM Series 1 in the blue tights. Wow. So... So we did five, we did four, we did three. Number two is easy, it's over here. It is the WWE Elite Ringside Collectibles exclusive Wolfpack Sting. Personally, I think that this is the best Wolfpack Sting ever. Um, a lot of discrepancies in this where people, you know, argue about whether or not this is a good figure or not. I think it's excellent. I love the head on it, I love the long hair. Very, very few uses of this uh, head sculpt. Paint application's incredible. Look at the red on there, or the red on the black. Comes with the bat, the gloves, the deco, all the scorpions, the red NWO logo. I absolutely love it. He comes with this Wolfpack shirt that I had as a kid, so it made me like it even more. I just think that this figure is perfect. I think the torso they use, the arms, but the head especially. The red really pops. I mean, like look at this got a Wolfpack Sting here. I don't think they nailed the red that he would use. Okay. Same with this one. It's like a little bit too bright red. They nailed the color and shade of red that he used, if you ask me. That's my opinion. And it says Wolfpack Sting at the start of 1998. A fracture formed within the NWO when the original members disbanded. Other NWO teams began to form and vied for the attention of Sting. In June, in the midst of the main event of Nitro, Sting climbed back into the ring, cloaked in his trademark black trench coat. The shirt he was wearing underneath the coat would determine which faction he would join. Would it be the black and white or the black and red? Sting revealed the shirt, clad in the black and white signature of NWO Hollywood, appearing to have made his decision. NWO Hollywood members hugged and celebrated at Sting's re revelation. However, he decided to shock the world by pulling off the black and white shirt to reveal a red and black shirt representing the Wolfpack. He was now an official member of NWO Wolfpack and his fellow teammates hit the ring to celebrate with him as Nitro signed off for the night. I mean, it's such an iconic moment and I just really think that this figure is beautiful. And I don't think it gets enough love, but it is my number two. Look at that thing. And up here, I was talking about it earlier, here is the Bash at the Beach three-pack with Luger, Macho, and Sting, but there's the Elite version 
or the figure I was talking about. I just think the basic looks better. I love the gear that they chose. So we went through numbers five, four, three, two, and now we're gonna go to one. And I think it's obvious that it is from the Galoob line. Now, he had a lot. There's the black tights, the orange tights. Here we have the UK entrance gear, which is almost identical to this one. I just think this one has way more detail. It's absolutely incredible. A lot of people say that this is the best Sting figure ever, and I do think it's great. However, if I have to pick one Galoob figure, it's this one. I think the likeness on the head is great. Every bit of detail is there and very nicely painted. I love the colors that they used. And these are very, very difficult to find in good shape. I spent years trying to find one in this good a shape and there's still some things that I'm like, oh, I wish this was a little bit better. absolutely think this is beautiful there's the signature 90s rat tail now don't get me wrong it was hard for me to pick between this one and the standard blue that's like a classic vintage you know historical figure i just couldn't have two galoobs on here so i had to pick one and i'm gonna pick this one every time maybe it's because it's more rare maybe it's because i didn't have it as a kid and i wanted it maybe it's because i spent a lot of money on it don't know but this is definitely my number one. So let's recap them really quickly. Number five on my list for top Sting figures, my favorites. Now your list might not be the same, but my list number five is this Chase, one of 5,000 edition, AEW Unmatched Series 2 Luminaries Stinger with the Scorpion shirt. Number four, we have the Retro. Card. Number three, the Defining Moments figure, the first Mattel. Great looking figure. Number two, my favorite Wolfpack Sting Elite and my favorite Wolfpack Sting figure, period. I just think this is perfect. And number one, Entrance Gear Galoob UK Style Sting. Again, this is just my opinion. These are my personal favorites in my collection, okay? There is no actual list of this is, by statistic, the best Sting figure. It's all opinion. So comment below. Let me know your favorite Sting figures, your top five below. Let's talk about it. Let's talk figs, all right? Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at FigHeel. Pick up my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, and go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace. And also, if you want to get figures like this for super cheap, hit up Whatnot. Click the link below, join, and you'll get $15 towards your first purchase. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Want to turn your collection from this into this? Then head over to Whatnot. Whatnot is a community marketplace with live stream auctions. See exactly what you're buying before you get it. Auctions starting at just $1. You can interact with sellers, celebrities, fans. It's safe and secure and has grail pieces for steel prices. So click the link in description below to join now and receive $10 towards your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.